different business policies might require different methods or options for invoicing. So let us see how invoicing is done in order 50. So let's open a sales module and when you go to configuration settings, you can find option to set a default invoicing policy for a company. So here under sales, you can find invoicing policy. So you can find there are two methods to generate invoice for customers. Either we can invoice what is ordered or we can generate invoice for what is delivered. So this default uh, option will be applied to any newly created product. And this invoicing policy can also be changed from the product form. So let us open our products. So here we have a product dining room chair. Let's edit this. So you can find under general information, there is a field invoicing policy. So you can set invoicing policy for this product. And by default, it is set as delivered quantity. So we can change it for this product. So if I want to uh, generate invoice based on ordered quantity, then, then I can change it from here. So you can see a description is also shown here. That is, you can invoice uh, this product before they are delivered. That is, we can create invoice for the quantities ordered by the customer. Then if you set it as delivered quantity, then you can only create the regular invoice after delivering the products. That is, invoice is created based on quantities ordered. Sorry, quantities delivered and not ordered. Now let us save this product and let's see how this works. So you can see invoicing policy set for this product dining room chair is ordered quantity. Now let us open a different product. So here we have deck chair. And you can see I've set invoicing policy as delivered quantity. Now let's create a sale order. So, so here let's add the product dining room chair and deck chair. So now let's confirm the sale order. And here you can see an option came to create invoice. So when you click on this create invoice, so we can either create a regular invoice or a down payment. So down payment can be done as percentage or fixed amount. So we will see how down payments are created in order 15 in a separate video. Now let's create and view this regular invoice. So when you click on that, you can see draft invoice is created. And when you check the invoice line, that is product line, you can find that the dining room chair is only added to the product line. This is because we have set invoicing policy as ordered quantities for this product dining room chair which means the customers will be invoiced once a sale order is confirmed. Now we can confirm this draft invoice and uh, if the payment is done, we can register the payment. So one invoice is created for this product dining room chair. So for the product deck chair, it will not be possible to create invoice for the customers before delivering the products to customers. So here, if you click on create invoice, you can see regular invoice cannot be created, but we can make a down payment. So if you want to give an advance payment, 20% of the 
amount. You can do that. So here you can see a draft invoice is created. Down payment of 20 percentage. So if you want to create invoice, regular invoice for this product deck chair, then here we have to deliver the product to customers. So now let us deliver both the products to customers. You can validate the transfer. Now when you come back, you can see the regular invoice can be created. So you can see we have already done a down payment. That is 10 percentage of the total amount. So now when you click on create a new invoice, you can see that product deck chair is added to the invoice line. And as we have paid 20 percentage of the total amount, now we only need to pay the remaining amount. That is here you can see this 44.30. Now we can confirm the invoice and register the payment. So being able to have different invoicing methods allow you more flexibility. And Odo also have different other invoicing policies. So that depends upon the product type. Like if I open the product form, here, if I change the product type to uh, service product or gift card or even ticket or even booth, you can see here some different options are shown for invoicing policy. That is, we can create prepaid invoice then create invoice based on timesheet based on milestone so we will discuss about these methods in a different video so i hope you got an idea about invoicing policies in order 50 so that's all for this video and thanks for watching Thank you.